Eight months ago when I saw this huge piece of cottonwood tree at a garden waste drop-off site where I get some of my best bowl turning blanks, I said to myself, this thing would make a great table. So I can almost hear some of you saying, that doesn't look like a table to me, but hang with me for a second. By using Arbortex power carving tools and shaping these surfaces and using a little bit of an imagination, I'm hoping to turn this chunk of wood into a sophisticated looking table. I plan on surfacing the top, the front face, and the bottom of the table extremely smoothly. I'll do that with an Arbortech power plane attachment. I'll finish those surfaces with a clear film coat, but I want some of the chainsaw curves to remain. The back will be textured using Arbortex ball gouge carver, exposing fresh wood that I will then burn in a shushugi bond treatment for a huge contrast to the smooth faces. You know, no one would ever call me an expert power carver, and my high aspirations at this moment may turn into frustrations as I go forward. You need to learn to be flexible with this kind of woodworking, but I am really excited to get started. I'm starting by flattening what will be the bottom of the table, getting down to clean, fresh wood. While this is not a dangerous operation, to help assure that, I'm wearing a face shield and gloves. The cool thing about these battery-powered tools from Makita is that I don't need ear protection as they are so quiet. The goal of this operation is just to get down to some fresh, uh, clean wood and, most importantly, to flatten the bottom which I'm getting close. But you can see that I still have a good ways to go. I'm just gonna continue until I'm happy that it's flat across the width and the length. With the bottom of the piece flattened, I'm going to get busy shaping the other faces and getting down to fresh wood. I began with the curved back. This was where I really started to get the hang of the Arbortech cutters. With the back face reshaped and cleaned up, my next task was reworking the front face. I wanted to form a gentle curve into the face, leaving the existing saw curves to add visual interest. It all started with some chainsaw cuts. With the rough shaping completed, it was back to the Arbortech cutter to refine the shape to a more attractive curve. I have to say, as a person who likes making sawdust, this job was simply awesome. So far, so good. To this point, things were progressing as I had hoped. Now I had to scribe a line that would represent the top face of the table. I used the high-tech system of a stick and a pencil. With a line scribed for the top, I grabbed the chainsaw to cut around the piece and then some witness lines into the piece. Remember what I said earlier about being flexible? Well, I really made a hash out of this step and ended up doing it twice. Ah, shit. As I learned as a young man in woodworking, it's never a mistake unless you can't fix it. So after struggling through getting a better top formed, it was time to smooth it with the Arbortech cutter. I had a lot of material to remove, but the cutter did the job well. Once it was flat, I sanded it smooth. I was really getting somewhere now, so I moved on to texturing the back of the table with a ball gouge carver. I took my time and carved a very regular pattern. Once the back was carved, I used a garden torch to char the back, a technique called shushugiban. Once the burning is done, rinse with cold water. Remember, only you can prevent drive white fires. It was at this point that I started making the turned legs. I really enjoyed making them, but they turned out to be kind of a rabbit hole. Once they were done, I looked at them and decided that they looked, well, ugly. Remember, flexibility. So I grabbed the table and moved into the shop for the rest of the project. So this is it. I got the table into the shop and then I sanded some more and then I put a finish on it and I used pore filler to help get the finish really smooth on these sanded areas. Then I chose some chrome plated legs which I think look great and the table's done. So I really had fun making this project. I learned a lot of things and surprisingly people actually like it. But one thing we haven't figured out is, is it a table or is it a bench? I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Keep on making sawdust.